This man right here is a fraud. Yesterday, no. Why today was in the title race? Thanks, Pep. He spent hundreds of trillions and he's still been a complete flop. What challenges are you expecting from playing in the Premier League? Consent. As of this moment, he's still yet to win the Champions League with Man City. All he's done is just dominate the domestic league, which, if I'm being honest, anyone can do. So who could win the Champions League at Man City, you might be asking. Well, I think there's only one appointment that really could be made. It's a manager who's done it at the top level for decades. And by top level, I just mean A level. He is an elite tactician. I think tactically he gets it wrong. And he's widely regarded as one of the best English managers of all time. His name is Saraf Galfgate. Obviously not to be confused with Gareth Southgate, who is a complete fraud and a shit manager. Player knowledge, we know fuck all. With tactics obviously being Saraf's forte, that was the first thing he implemented in the Man City dressing room. Fuck all this control possession, Gagan press, Gangnam style football. Gangnam press. We don't do any of that shit. We just do Route 1, part the bus. He introduced perhaps the most exciting, fluid examples of football. <laughs> Look at that. It was time to get the right men in for the job. It's about getting rid of the dead wood. Oh yeah, Shiki Masala. And getting in people who know how to win who are born winners. Samuel Allardyce. Samuel Aladici. The transfer policy was clear. I'm staying here for one season. We want the Champions League this season. We want the best in the world. Oh, Pogba. Chiellini Tolisso. Oh my God, that'd be a good coup as well. Alfonso Davies might be a good little pickup. He could be on the left, couldn't he? I feel like I might need another centre-back. I think Marquinhos might be a good little deal. Okay, Teo Hernandez isn't on sale for any price. And <laughs> Sadio Mane isn't either. The season actually started out really well. It's very, very defensive. We're going to see how this anti-football works. With a 3-1 loss to Liverpool in the Community Shield. Is it possible to get sacked first game of the season? Because I feel like we might be sacked after this. This traumatic loss prompted immediate action. <laughs> Right, we're about to get rid of Shiki, and we're about to bring in Sam Allardyce. Oh my god. It's gonna cost 10 mil. <laughs> this is unreal. Right, Winston Reed's coming in. He's a bit of experience. He's a winner. And despite the recent pickups, the pursuit of transfer targets didn't seize. I think we're gonna go for Teo Hernandez, you know. How long's left on the contract? 2026. He's gonna cost a fucking arm and a leg. Maybe a backup striker, but I'm hoping Haaland can kind of stay fit. He doesn't have the injury prone trait, which is weird because in real life he's quite injury prone. Unfortunately, this meant some had to make way. <laughs> We're sending Itakura to Millwall. Good luck down there, mate. I've heard they're very, very accepting of different type of people. The Premier League season got underway against Bournemouth. Uh, Haaland has decided to fuck himself in the groin. Nice, we held the nil-nil, <laughs> just as I wanted. That was probably the best start to a season you could possibly have. But some expert advice was needed. Let's see what Sam Allardyce reckons we should get uh, left back. Men, you know what? Sam Allardyce has got an eye for players. So maybe Tagliafico might be the one, you know? Let's compare him to Tagliafico, because I know Tagliafico is a bit older. He's better in almost every facet of the game. Apart from tackling, now that is a pickup and a half. Paulinho, Pogba, got KDB, Bernardo Silva, Rodri, Gundogan. Grealish can't really play there. Considering I play f two in the middle, it's a bit overkill. Tolisso, I don't need Tolisso. I guess he'd probably be decent backup. Happy to have acquired a born winner. That's what I'm talking about. We need born winners. I reckon Koulibaly might be a perfect fit. <laughs> Bring back Otamendi. Oh. Who else we got? Lacroix, Longley. Again, wants a way out, but I'm not giving that. <laughs> I'm not too, I'm not, again, I'm going to keep saying this, I'm not bothered about age. Despite the transfer window, games started coming thick and fast. It's about time we got our first victory on the board. I think I would like Pal Torres, you know, 51 mil. Oh, it's a release clause. Well, we should be able to do that easily then. It's 51 mil versus 44, but he's on higher wages and they will want even higher. We could probably get away with 100k for Pal Torres. 105. And he's wanted by Chelsea as well. And the Champions League draws finally came in. Ooh. Okay, we got Sevilla, Ajax and Trapsador. We should be able to breeze through the group. There shouldn't be any issues. Drew 2-2 with a late draw. 
DCL rip. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that. That is prime FM. But it was time for some tough decisions. Look, 50 mil looks like a lot of money, but for Man City, it's not. They they spent 50 million on rapists. They can have no qualms spending 50 mil on a 23 year old non rapist. Torres set for Man City. Beautiful. Wow. Ake gets injured the next day. Unreal. But our transfer window wasn't done yet. West Ham won Bustos. I might just do West Ham a favour, you know. Call it corruption, but we got Sam Allardyce in. I'm going to do him a favour and do 1.5. It's just loyalty, isn't it? Just loyalty. Bustos just rejected West Ham. Wow. Shallow. Who we got? Adresa Gay, the known homophobe. But the transfer window swiftly closed. Look, this looks a lot healthier now, though. That is an incorrect amount of money. That wasn't how much he went for in real life. Aston Villa spent 279 mil. Who'd they fucking buy? 142 for Coutinho. Wow. But some problems started to arise. Huh? What is going on? Everyone's just got injured. He slipped a disc. <laughs> so he, he was doing deadlifts. Hernandez in Dreamland. Well, he's not in Dreamland because he's literally just fucking died on international duty. He is. Wow. We got four injuries now in the first team squad. Look at that. But September was swiftly approaching. 1-1 one, one. again. Another 1-1. One, one. We got Ajax in the first Champions League game. Hopefully we can just brush them aside. I don't know who brush is, but things continued to look bleak. We've lost 3-1. Fuck me, I might be out of a job before Christmas. We got Fulham twice in a week. That, is, that has to be two wins. Oh, Aguero's calling out Edison. I mean, I, I, I think Edison's overrated, personally. Oh my god, we're out of the Carabao Cup. <laughs> we're out of the Carabao Cup. Our own cup. Regardless, we still battered all the little teams. A 6 2. <laughs> That's a bit of rejuvenation. 4 0 against Trafsador, 2 0 against Villa. This is what we won't be seeing. Most people are back, I reckon. We got 2.39 million. Beautiful, that pay from the mill deals around the club. And September came to a close. September went all right. We had a poor start to the season with the 1-1 draw to Brighton. But Sarah Galfgate kind of pulled it back a bit in the latter half. We're also currently second in the league, four points behind Liverpool. Sarah Galfgate's not doing too poor at this point. We're only in October though. Some managers get manager in a month in September and then get sacked two months later. Let's not make any bold judgments yet. Speaking of Tottenham, what a ball. Oh my God, chip it. Oh, that is unreal. That is unreal. What a guy. What is that celebration? <laughs> he was doing that thing where you, <laughs> pat, where you pat your head and rub your stomach at the same time. We're lit we are literally a brick wall in front of the def um, goal. Are you serious right now? Zinchenko has to go. He has to go. He has to go, blood. It's a bit too attacking for my liking. Zinchenko is wonder. Oh, you're shit. Roger, who are you piping up to? Not even the best DM in the league. <laughs> He tells me to bring on Teo Hernandez, but the guy hasn't done a fitness test. Is that not against the rules and regulations? Look at that work rate. Oh my god, did you see that? Okay, I'll take a 1 1. I won't take a 1 1. But bad news just kept coming. Oh shit, Winston Reed's injured for nine months. Fuck it. He, he's just, he's earning a wage. He, he must retire after that. 4 1. Phil Foden injured. Oh my god, this is insane. And Jack Grealish. What are we doing? But we move. 2 0. Paul Pogba getting a double. See? Paul, Paul Pogba is worth that 195 grand a week just for that brace. Because that could be the difference between winning the league and not winning the league. So October didn't go too bad. As you can see, it actually went very well. The draw against Tottenham. It is what it is, isn't it? I tried. And by tried, I mean I sat back in typical fashion. We moved down to third, but we soon went back to our winning formula. 1-1, one, 1-1. One, one, one. That is Sam Allardyce and Galfgate Masterclass. Attacking wins you games, and defences win you leagues. Do you know who said that? Jose Mourinho. I prefer really not to, um, not to speak. I think. I can't remember, but someone said that, and it's not true because I'm currently sat in third. But it wasn't just my league position that was a surprise. Oh, what is the league right now? West Ham in fourth, Ben Rama up front. <laughs> Fucking hell. But at least the results remain consistent. Consistently poor. Oh my God, what a month. This is ridiculous. I'm... I, I think I might be spending Christmas at home. Let's we get a result here at uh, Old Trafford. Fourth. Oh my god. We just paved the way for West Ham. Several players think I should give Ake some time in the team. Okay, but for who? Who Who do you want me to take out then? Okay, so Ake now needs to be in the team. That's fine by me. That is fine by me. 
few lot are happy to throw games, having that dickhead running around. We can have Sasha Bob running around in centre back. Oh, through the legs. What a finish. Oh, I didn't go through his legs. The hair is just fucking retarded. Half time, not too bad. Look at that XG graph. What a ball by De Bruyne. On the volley? No. Good finish though, near post. The hair has to be bad. The most overrated goalkeeper. Good ball. What a ball, Haaland on the vo- Oh! Imagine the scenes. Edson waste time. It's about the only thing he's good at. Well done, lads. That was a good win. 13 days ain't too bad. Bernardo Silva, when did he get injured? Chasing it. He was on for about 10 minutes. If that. And just like that, November came to a close. So, November was an iffy month. I know, I thought 1-1 wasn't too bad. Until we got three more draws after it two of them being 1-1s but it's just it's vintage Saraf Galfgate isn't it obviously the 2-0 against Man United is a really good victory to be fair but I must say we're unbeaten in the league we are unbeaten we could go invincible Jose Mourinho was on to something we are about to win the league we got a busy December ahead but hopefully we got the minerals to do it so the festive season began nice shithouse in wins we're quite a low scoring team we're back down to third Two games in hand as well, okay. I don't think we're going to be doing very well in the league this season. Still haven't lost though. Have things begun to heat up in the dressing room? Pressure building on Galfgate as Herrera. Who the fuck is Herrera? I've just slayed him in the media. Leeds are in fourth. What What world are we living in with that team? And a managerial merry-go-round came into full swing. Arsenal in 14th. Oh my god, Palace and Wolves in relegation zone. Chelsea in Tottenham basically mid-table. Oh, they, they sacked him. Arteta's gone. Um. Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Brendan Rodgers has just been sacked by Leicester. <laughs> Wait, where are they in the league? 12. But, are they better than 12? <laughs> so, Brendan's sacked by Leicester. Who's up for the job? Slavin Bilic and Conte. Conte sacked by Tottenham. How have I just seen that? Jürgen Klinsmann up for Tottenham job. Where is Tottenham? Ninth. Again... <laughs> They're only just about ninth though. Leeds are only two points behind me to be fair. I'm playing Leeds next. And as expected. Yeah, 3-0. That's decent. That's a good win. Having Liverpool versus Man City on Boxing Day is massive. What a fucking game. And then you got Tottenham two days later. Slightly less of a clash. But not all of us were ready for such clashes. Three day injury, really? I think he's just bottled it for the Liverpool game, isn't he? Look at this dude. And as the common saying goes, never meet your heroes. He's not getting the expected amount of time. Okay, well, let's have a go at him then. He's playing often enough. No, he isn't. Lee Bowyer. Lee Bowyer. Are you taking the piss? But it was time for the big occasion. Ake's obviously getting some game time because <laughs> the squad have begged for it. Ake's actually been in awful form. 6.4. I could get a better rating than 6.4. Scott Carson has played one game and has got a better rating. Let's just completely fuck Liverpool up. Okay, but just pass it into the goal. Like, how has that gone in? That's awful. Edinson is lucky he's not being beheaded. If they score another before half time, Scott Carson's coming on. Teo, what are you doing? Okay, I can't blame this one, Edison, unless it just goes through his legs. Ooh, he's fucked it. No, good finish. We're not the underdogs. Why have I just said that? <laughs> Uninspired. See, that's what happen Jürgen Klopp does to a man. So you need Saraf Galfgate. Look, this is inspirational. Look at that. It's a bit too much tic tac of my liking. That's what happens when you play tic tac You lose the ball. We're not playing enough hoof ball. Yellow card. Beautiful. This is what I live for. Look at him. He's completely unmarked. Are we getting that? VAR check in. Disallowed. Game's gone. The game's gone. <laughs> game's gone. Okay, Scott Carson's coming in. Fuck you, Edison. Get out of goal. Man City fans wouldn't mind losing the league if it meant a Champions League. That was woeful, though. That was really bad. But our issues were short-lived. It was a score against Tottenham. 1-0. That is prime Gareth Southgate. We'll tell you that every day of the week. Then Dusky gets a golden boot. You know, Robert Lewandowski. Erling Haaland, KDB, <laughs> second and third. We had more. Hang on. Erling Haaland and KDB get second and third, but neither of them get in team of the year. How does that work? Mares isn't even in the contention, but he gets right winger. And just like that, December came to a close. December was a very busy month. 
unfortunately we lost our unbeaten run to Liverpool unsurprisingly but other than that we brushed a load of teams aside got a nice little win against Arsenal we beat Ajax in the last Champions League game then we beat Tottenham so just just beating the little teams basically that whole month apart from West Ham oh shit I'm in the sack race how I've been doing well I'm, I'm a little bit behind